Hi, David here again. Today I'm going to show you how to use the DVD game in the Eager and Neurofeedback software. So we're starting with that you've opened up Eager, that you've made your client selection, and that you've planned your session. And so if you're doing live neurofeedback, you would go to begin session. But since I don't have anyone plugged in, I'm going to go to replay a session, which is simulating a live neurofeedback session. And so you go to DVD game, double click on that. And so if you if you had a DVD plugged in to your disk drive, then you wouldn't get this, but this is all right. It's just telling me that there's no DVD found. So you just click OK. And then VLC Media Player opens up. And then it jumps over to the second screen. So this recording doesn't show my second screen. So I will drag that over in just a minute. So at this point, you would typically check your impedance and set your thresholds, do all, all that sort of thing. Or you may decide that you want to put the video on so your client at least has something to entertain themselves with. So I'm going to bring VLC Media Player over here. Oh, it's been a little strange. Cool. So now say we're looking at uh, the second screen. To open up a video file, you go to Media, which is the top left first option, and then Open File, the first option. Alternatively, you can press Control-O, and it opens up this dialog box, which is the same as if I was to, as if I was to do this. So now we have uh, my videos folder which uh, has a couple of uh, Attenborough documentaries in here that I've downloaded from a website. And if you want to find that site, I will put that in the description of this video. Um, and this opens up to the last folder that you've opened to. So if you, say, have plugged in an external hard drive, into your computer and you want to play a video off that, then you just navigate within this window to that place. And when you found um, when you found the video, you open that up and we'll start playing. I've muted video while I'm making this, so you're not hearing anything. So little tricks to note are that for this and for most uh, Video players, if you double click in the middle, it makes it full screen, which is just a bit more enjoyable. And something to note is that when it's full screen, when you move the mouse, the video controller appears down the bottom. And when you stop moving the mouse, it disappears. So you can move this controller. You could have it there, you could have it here, and you could even have it on your other screen. So you might find this useful for when you're trying to control um, control the video and your second monitor might be a bit far away for you to see. You can actually drag it across. But you now have that issue of when you start moving the mouse, it disappears. So Um, I'll just show you how I would do that over here. So if you double click again, that takes it from being full screen mode and now you can drag it. So I'm now putting this back on my second screen. So if I was to bring that controller over here, what I would do is put it somewhere down the bottom and very close to where your screens connect. So my screen connects on this right hand side. So now you see that that controller disappears, but when I put the mouse over, the controller comes back. So it's not in the video, it disappears, it's on moving on the video, it comes back. So what you'll need to do to, 
to catch the controller again is you need to move over here and then bring your mouse back quickly. So it disappears and then it reappears. And now once I've got my mouse hovering over it, it will not disappear. It's as if I'm moving my mouse over the video. But then again, if I stop moving, now that's all right. If you leave your mouse cursor over it, it'll stay. But once you're off it, it'll disappear. So you just need to catch it like that. You need to spend a little time, just move your mouse on the video and then bring it over this. And you can adjust the volume, you can change where you're at in the video, all that type of thing. And just to go over it quickly again, you can move this controller by clicking in that top little panel And then you can, and holding down. So you can move it, you can move it up here, down here, over here, wherever you want. But I'd suggest that you put it close to where your screens connect so that you can catch it again if you need. Something else to note is that instead of pressing Control O to then open a file, you can also press Control D open a disk. So if you've got a DVD in and it didn't automatically start playing, you can press Control D and then select which drive. I've only got one DVD drive, so it would be drive E. However, nothing's in there. Um, otherwise, you can also go media and open disk as well. So media open file, or media open disk. And a couple of other little helpful hints are if you press S for special, you can change uh, all of these parameters here. Uh, the main ones to note are video impact mode. So you've got white, overlay, blur, and black. Generally, we suggest using white or black, so that means as the screen, if you're on black, as the screen resolution gets worse, it gets darker. And um, as you achieve your neurofeedback targets, uh, the screen becomes less black, clearer resolution. If you were to be on white, then instead of black, it would be white. So the screen goes to white as you get further away from your neurofeedback uh, thresholds, targets, and then the whiteness disappears and you get clear resolution as you do reach your targets. The other thing to note is video worst floor percentage. Uh, generally, depending on which video impact mode, you probably want this somewhere between 30 and 70%. Um, so right now, this would mean that at the very worst, the screen will be completely white. I'll explain with black, it might be a little easier. So right now, if at its very worst, the screen would be completely black. Whereas if I set this to 100%, the screen won't change at all. Whereas if I set it to 50%, it would mean that it's very worst, it would be 50% towards being completely black. So depending on which movie it is, um, what the video file is like, who your client is, you may decide that you want the screen to not go too dark or too white, or you want to make it more difficult for them. That's, that's up to you. But you can adjust all of this stuff by pressing S for special. And then you can get out of it by pressing S as well. Something else to note is V for volume. So here you can adjust the beeps, which is the reward sound. So if the beep is too loud compared to the video, then you can change that. You can also control the master volume. So it's at 100, you could turn the whole thing down. That's beeps plus video volume. And then if you wanted to if you wanted to adjust the movie volume, then you bring your little control over here and you can change the movie volume. So those are the ways that you can change the video in relation to the beeps. And yeah.
yeah, I think that's it for now. So I hope you found that useful. I'll see you next time.